There is in existence today an extraordinary car collection that hardly anyone knows about, a collection that contains some of the rarest and historically interesting vehicles, the lost cars of Nazi Germany's top leaders. The collection is to be found in a small museum in Moscow, Russia, the result of one family's careful collecting for over 60 years. Even more incredibly, some of the world's most valuable cars cost them nothing, not one ruble, as they spent decades rescuing wrecks from farmers' barns and gardens and painstakingly restoring them to some semblance of their former glory. The Lomakov Museum of Old-Timer Cars and Motorcycles doesn't look like much from the outside, but some of the vehicles inside are worth millions of dollars, if they were ever to be auctioned. So we'll begin with an impressive example, a black Mercedes-Benz 540K, the classic Nazi leader's limousine. Hitler and his circle required serious cars to be the face of the regime, and Mercedes-Benz was more than happy to oblige. Hitler stated in 1934 that he did not tolerate a car manufactured by other companies in his escort and entourage, a ringing endorsement of what is now called Mercedes-Benz, though not something they like to highlight today. Between 1929 and 1942, Mercedes-Benz delivered a total of 44 cars to the Reich Chancellery in Berlin, the majority during the Nazi period. In 1935, Hitler took delivery of three specially modified Mercedes-Benz 540 KW24 limousines, known with good reason as the Schwabian Colossus. Introduced at the 1935 Paris Motor Show, the 540K was one of the largest cars produced at the time. A total of 12 specially lengthened wheelbase cars were manufactured for use by the German government, huge six-seater convertible saloons. Hitler's three personal 540K Paradewagens were kept in service until 1943. Other leaders, including Hermann Göring and Heinrich Himmler, also utilized 540Ks, and many were kept at the new Reich Chancellery motor pool for the use of visiting VIPs and government ministers. The 540K at the Lomakov Car Museum was once owned by Dr. Josef Goebbels, who took delivery of this car in 1935, originally painted cherry red, the only one of the limousines in this colour scheme. It was Dr. Goebbels' official car as propaganda minister until 1938, when it was replaced by a new Mercedes-Benz, and this 540K downgraded to the Goebbels Escort car, carrying his small contingent of bodyguards from the Reichssicherheitsdienst, the RSD, the special unit that protected Hitler in the inner circle of ministers. In early 1945, Goebbels moved to Berlin to be at Hitler's side, and he ceased moving about much save for a few brief visits to the Order Front. The 540K was left in storage at Goebbels' villa at Borgensee, a small lake near Wandlitz, some nine miles north of Berlin. As the Red Army approached Berlin from the 20th of April 1945 onwards, Goebbels' house was quickly captured by Soviet troops, while its master now inhabited one room in Hitler's bunker, beneath the shell-ravaged Reich Chancellery in central Berlin. The ranking Soviet officer that found the Crimson car ordered it walled up to prevent him having to hand it over to a more senior officer. But his plan fell through when someone tipped off the Soviet occupation authorities and the officer concerned was encouraged to hand over the car in return for a good post-war job and an apartment. Goebbels' 540K was given to Nikolai Karatin, first secretary of the Communist Party in Estonia, the car spending decades in that country from 1948 onwards. Used mostly in the capital, Tallinn, the car was eventually left to rot, abandoned at Karatan's country Dacha until found in 1972 by Alexander Lomakov, overgrown with weeds. Incredibly, Karatan's widow gave the car to Lomakov in return for removing the wreck from her property. Lomakov subsequently spent years restoring the car, and today it is about 80% restored, painted black, and in running condition, and has appeared in many Russian films. Of the 600 540Ks that Mercedes-Benz built, only about 20 remain today, making Dr. Goebbels' car a very rare beast indeed. Parked close to Goebbels' 540K is one of the most beautiful cars ever built, a Horch 853. 
It was the only Horch kept at the Reich Chancellery garage and was Car of the Year at the 1935 Paris Motor Show. Unsurprisingly, it caught the attention of the flamboyant Reichsmarschall Hermann Göring, the corpulent head of the Luftwaffe who variously collected art, antiques, animals, guns, model trains and much else, including pretty cars. As well as having his own Mercedes-Benz 540K for official business, Göring also had several flash cars that he used for semi-official and private engagements, including most famously the Blue Goose. A special 540K roadster that still exists today and was captured by US troops at the Orbis Altsberg in southern Bavaria in 1945. The Horch 853 was luxuriously appointed, just like Göring's vast mansion named Karenhau near Berlin, where the car was kept. With a Morocco leather and expensive wood-finished interior, the Horch unusually sports a barometer among the dashboard instruments installed on Göring's order so he could monitor the weather as he travelled. Göring abandoned this car in April 1945 when he retreated to southern Bavaria after ordering his house to be blown up. Soviet forces captured the huge estate shortly afterwards, and the Horch was among several expensive cars they found. The car was commandeered by the commander of the brigade that had captured the area, but when he turned up at the headquarters of the 2nd Belarusian Front, Front Commander Marshal Konstantin Rokossovsky clapped eyes on the car and ordered it to be handed over for his personal use. On the 29th of June 1945, Rokossovsky in turn gave the car as a gift to Red Air Force Colonel General Mikhail Samokin, who used it until 1956. In that same year, Samokin sold the Horch to the head of an aviation enterprise in the Tushino. Alexander Lomakov managed to acquire the wrecked Horch in 1968, rescuing it. It too has appeared in many films and is incredibly rare and valuable. Another member of Hitler's inner circle who by April 1945 was living in the Führerbunker with no further need of cars was Martin Bormann, Hitler's private secretary and head of the Nazi Party Chancellery, governing the party and the regional Gauleiters. The scheming and much-feared Bormann, who became more and more powerful as the Third Reich entered its death throes, had many official cars assigned to him, as he was always where Hitler was. One of those cars survives today, a Mercedes 320. It is difficult to precisely pin down how this particular car ended up in Soviet hands, as Bormann's private homes all ended up in the American occupation zone, including his villa next to Hitler's on the Orbezalsberg in southern Bavaria, his large white villa at Pulach outside Munich, and another house used by his wife and children from 1943 to 45 on the Schluchsee in the Black Forest. We know that Bormann had about 20 cars assigned to him from the Reich Chancellery garage, and this particular Mercedes may very well have been captured in Berlin at war's end. It is doubtful that the colour scheme is original. What is known is that Alexander Lomakov discovered the old car at Zelenograd near Moscow in 1995, it not having been driven for 30 years. It has been partly restored. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and share, and also visit my audiobook channel, War Stories with Mark Felton. You can also help to support both of my channels at PayPal and Patreon, details in the description box below.